Alright guys, welcome back and hopefully you're having a great day and today we are going to learn about how to add sounds and music to our Pi game and currently there are no sounds inside our game so it looks pretty simple but what we are going to do is we are going to add three types of sounds. The first sound is the background sound that's going to play continuously in the background. The second is the shooting of the bullet sound. In this case, I've called it laser.wave. And the third one is explosion.wave that's going to be produced when our laser bullet hits our enemy. And just to show you guys how it sounds, I'm going to play this main.python file, which I've already changed the code of so that you guys can see what's happening inside our game. So I'm just going to play it and you can see. So you must have seen there are three sounds. First sound continuously goes in the background. Second is the laser or the bullet sound. And the third is when our bullet hits our enemy. Now, how can you get all these three files? Let me actually make sure that the code is uh, original and uh, the last one that we have used. And now how do you get these three dot .wav files? So what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to github.com, athreyabhat, space invaders, spy game, and you'll be able to get all the code that I've written till now. And along with it, you'll be able to get the dot .wav files that I have been talking about. After downloading these three files, or maybe the whole code, and you can download them by clicking on this clone or download and then download zip. Make sure you add these sound files to your project by going to space invader and just pasting them over there. Now let's get started with adding background music into our game. So first thing we need to do is import something known as a mixer from our Pi game library. And to do that, we just write from Pi game import mixer, import this mixer. And what is this mixer? This is basically a class that helps us handle all kind of music inside our game, whether it can be repeating a music, loading a music, anything that you want. So you have to look inside this class whenever you want to do anything with sounds or music. And then just below this background, we are gonna add a background sound. So let's write our comments at, so that you guys can know in future what we are talking about. And then we are just gonna use the mixer library by writing mixer.music.load, pretty easy because we want to load the file and then we are gonna play the file. And inside this, we are just gonna write background.wave, which is the name of our file, as you can see on the left-hand side. And then we are just gonna play this sound by writing mixer.music.play, pretty easy. And now we want this file to play continuously because right now, if we don't add anything inside this dot play, this file is gonna play once and then just stop. But we want it to play in a loop because this is a game and can go on for long. We don't want it to play just once. And how do you do that inside this mixer class? You just add minus one and it's gonna play on loop. So now let's just test it out and see whether it's working or not. As you can hear the background music must be going on but we haven't yet added the bullet sound or the explosion sound so that must not be there. So that's why we are going to be working on adding the bullet sound now but one thing I want you guys to notice is that currently we are using mixer.music because we want this file to be played continuously in the background so this is kind of a music but if something is very short for example our bullet sound then we have to use mixer.sound so we are just going to come below where we have uh, a bullet shooting. So how are we gonna catch the moment where our bullet is being released? So we are gonna do that inside our, let's go to above, let's go to this if bullet state is ready. So over here we can release the sound of our bullet going out from our spaceship. So because over here we are getting the X coordinate of the spaceship and then we are shooting the bullet over here. So we can somewhere over here add our bullet sound. And how do you do that is also pretty easy. Just below this, we are gonna write mixer dot sound so in this case it's not mixer dot music it's mixer dot sound and we're gonna first create a variable let's create a variable and call it bullet underscore sound just to make sure that we know where our sound is and mixer dot sound and inside this you have to give the file of the sound so in that in our case is laser dot wave and then just like we did in the music case we are gonna play it so we are just gonna write bullet sound dot state bullet sound dot play and we don't want it to be played inside a loop. That's why we haven't added minus one. So now our bullet is making a sound. Now we just need to add a sound to our collision. And where are we catching collision? Let me just copy this first and we are gonna go below. I just want you to guess first where we are going because this is pretty uh, obvious. We are going to this part where if collision, we want a sound be played and that sound is of explosion. So we are just gonna copy and paste this over here because most of the things are gonna be same. Instead of bullet, we are gonna write explosion sound 
and then I'm just gonna copy and paste this just below this dot play and instead of laser dot wave we are gonna go with explosion dot wave so guys this is pretty much it let's actually play our game one more time and see if everything is working properly so let's play this guys so everything is looking really good so our all of the three sounds are playing obviously feel free to work around and play around and add more sounds maybe remove and add your own sounds that's going to be fun in the next video we are going to learn about how to make sure that our game gets over when our enemy hits our spaceship so i'll see you over there